What's up gaming heroes, my name is Erosium and welcome back to another video. In today's video we are going to be looking at how you can make the best bank on World of Warcraft. Now banking is a really interesting subject, a lot of people use it and a lot of people don't. In this video I'm going to be discussing the positives, the negatives and the best way to go about setting it up in general. The first thing is on your journey to creating the perfect banking alt is smashing the like button, click subscribe and let's get into the video. Okay so first is first guys, you need to make yourself a character. So this character can be literally anywhere in the world, um, it can be it can be a, say say you could be any of these characters it can be a allied race it could be a normal human race it's up to you now it is worth noting that if you are looking for the very minimal approach you, you want to do the least amount of work required to get this set up then create an allied race character this is because they start at level 10 and you skip needing to basically do any starting zone at level 10 you can also transmog certain pieces of gear so you can basically use uh, you know more varieties if you're into transmogs for your banking character this might be more relevant and this might really uh, not be relevant depending on the type of person you're dealing with uh, now once you've done that you need to run from your starting zone to a main city now my bank is in Stormwind City I created a human female and I simply ran them over to Stormwind City whacked on some clothes did a little bit of transmogging and I was good to go but don't just leave it there. You need to take this one step further. You need to take this one step further, and I'm going to be showing you how in this video. So first is first. You can do things like you know buying a a bank here. You can buy all these slots, and then you can buy your regent slot. All that shenanigans, or you could just skip this step altogether. Now my dad, he actually doesn't do this next step he plays World of Warcraft he's been playing for 15 years never ended his subscription he's a bit of a madhead like that um, he likes to buy each of these individual slots and you know use all the bank space in his actual bank however I don't like to do that and the, there's a very very good reason for that I like to use a guild bank for my materials everything like that I even keep my gold in my guild bank for the most part not all of it I would say about half it at the second is, is kept in maybe a little bit less than half um, about half is kept in my guild bank and I find that it's just helpful for if I need gold on an alt I don't have to log out and log into another alt transfer the gold I can literally just go to a bank pull the gold out and any spare stick it back in it's super helpful now as a you know a bank for all of your characters it's not helpful having to go all the way to your bank and uh, your bank alt then log out then log back in transfer stuff all the time it's so frustrating so you're better off actually creating a guild now mine's called the iron bank of bravos and it's super easy to get signatures just wait outside uh, this this part of storm and just here uh, if we make it large, there you go. If you stand just here, the Valley of Heroes, and just wait for people to literally uh, appear here, and just hit them with a signed charter, or offer them like, you know, 10, 20, 100 gold, however much gold you want to, and you can get usually 10 signatures really, really quickly. At that point, you can go over and buy yourself a guild bank, uh, which is just here, and they, they are usually quite expensive, but in the long run, they are so worth it. You get literally you get literally 200 slots each, so it's so helpful. Just imagine how many bank tabs you can have. It's unreal. It's so, so helpful. I keep glyphs. I keep all, all manners of different things in here, and it's just insanely helpful for me. Now, why do I do that? Because... Let's log into some of my other characters. I do a lot of work on my garrisons across all of my alts. And sometimes my alts require certain materials that I don't have to hand uh, on each of them. And I find that having the guild bank available makes it so much more efficient to do my garrisons. So each day when I need to get materials out, I'll have all of my alts uh, parked in the exact same spot. And it's this easy. Log in, click my guild bank get the materials that I need. Oh, I need some frost weave. Uh, let's grab that. Oh, I need some black rock ore and probably some some cerulean pigment. Have I done my... Oh, I've already made my, my pigment today. That's fine. Let's do our alchemic, alchemical catalysts. Done. Oh, that's crafted. Stick it back in the guild bank. Done, done, done. 
log out easy peasy and that is that's all there is to it because and say for example let's let, let's go to this character here again so for example i need to pull out some gold uh, but i don't actually have any gold on this character i'm like oh no am i gonna have to jump onto my banking character then transfer some gold from my banking character then back no we can just literally go to the bank like you would in real life and take some money from them but it's interest free uh, so let's just say uh, that's a deposit amount we right click for the withdrawal let's just say we want to take a hundred thousand let's go i got my 100k see ya <laughs> And that, that's honestly how easy it is. You want to stick it back in? No problemo. Can do. And it just comes down to that, guys. Just doing having a guild bank between all of your alts that you don't play is so much more helpful than just having them in random guilds where they aren't actually doing anything. Now, don't get me wrong. My two main characters, which are Erosium and Erafam here, these two, they aren't in my own like guild bank. They are in a raiding guild, and that way they can consistently raise and you know basically be be in progress with the game so that those two i keep out of that but all of my other characters are in my guild bank and have full access to everything because it's so much easier to liquidate things now, when you're choosing a city that you want to set up in uh you've got basically a lot of access to various different cities uh, you can go iron forge which will you know give you a fairly good sorry let's go here tomorrow yeah, iron forge here which will give you you know a fairly decent uh, run between the bank and the auction house which is just here to here so it's not too bad it's a it's an okay spot you can use a gnome or a dwarf for that section there you can do stormwind like i do and either use the trade district one here where it's uh, the bank is just here and the auction house is just there or you can do the dwarven district one which i prefer it just has less people and the bank's just here, it looks nicer, and the auction house is just there. There's a vendor here as well, so it's very, very helpful. Past that, I don't think any of the other major cities for Alliance is worth it. Uh, it's definitely worth just having a spot that is close to the bank, because the bank is super helpful. Now, remember, if you do choose to level your banking character up a little bit, you can actually get your mobile banking, so you don't actually need a bank nearby. But it's just helpful because you've got the skill mobile banking, which is if you were if you go to general, you can find it there, mobile banking. And then you can access your guild bank just there. You just need to make sure that you're a high enough reputation with your guild in order to do that. Just just leveling up will get you reputation with your guild, luckily. Another thing to bear in mind is if you've got enough heirlooms on your character, uh, you can actually get a chauffeur mount, which is if I just type in chauffeur. There you go. It's a Mechaneer's Chopper. At level one, you can access this, and it's super easy to use. Look at that. Excellent. And it is a bit quicker. It is... Oh, it doesn't tell you how quick. But in general, it's much quicker because you aren't having to go through the, the annoyance of walking everywhere. You can use a chauffeur. Definitely worth doing that as well. Okay, so now once you've made your, your guild, you've made your... Uh, your banking character you've done everything like that now's the time to get yourself some awesome transmogifications dudes let's go so you know you can give yourself some fancy looks if you want to you don't need to but you can do if you if you so choose i quite like that that cape it looks it's a bit more of a traveler's cape though really i want to go for something a bit more fancy i think the haliskin jacket is is definitely the best here and we just want something that complements it underneath i think that's the main thing. Oh, the tuxedo shirt underneath. That works really well. I just think we maybe want, might want to check the cloak. I like the cloak because, you know, you're running between the auctions all the time. That makes sense. I, I think we're going to we're gonna stick with that right there. Make sure you've got yourself a nice transmog just to get you started. Now we're going to go to the barbershop. You know, give ourselves the proper banker's look. Now uh, everything's being customized here on World of Warcraft. Now it is worth noting that there is a tailor shop in Stormwind just outside Trade District here and uh, it's called Canal Tailor and Fit Shop and here you can basically buy dresses, you can buy uh, stylish, stylish black shirts which I've always sold in the auction house for quite decent money, uh, various different goods you can buy them there and that will really spruce up how your banker looks. Okay now it's time to give yourself 
a uh, a makeup you've always deserved. Oh my gosh, I'm a male. What? <laughs> so we can go here and have a look at how we want to look. Let's change the hairstyle to to something a bit bit more suitable to the times. Pixie looks. I think that that's that's a better better banker's haircut in my opinion. I'm going to change the color of the hair to like I think white. Yeah, we'll go for white hair color. Um, yeah, I think that works. Then the face. Tell a story with your with your banker as well. I mean, mine's going to be a shrew a shrewd banker. So that's that's kind of what I'm going for right now. Yeah, eye color. We're gonna gonna go for green because it's the color of the money. <laughs> And then skin color is it's gonna go for extreme pale. Yeah, I think that that's 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 what we're gonna go for right there. We look so so dutchy. It's so funny. Um, and what's this? Makeup. You can you can choose makeup. What? That's a thing. Oh my god, she looks dodgy. I uh, let's go for emerald emerald makeup. There you go, necklace. Oh, you can have a necklace. A jade pendant. Oh yeah, we've got to do that. Let's go for uh, let's go go for the jade pendant. Piercings. Jade discs. Yeah, we've got some some nice green green themes going on here. That looks good. Except that. Okay, that looks good. Now let's just check check this this jacket. Like, can we get rid of the jacket and just see what it looks like? It doesn't work, not with the necklace. And we definitely need that on. I think we need to get rid of the tuxedo. Take the take the shirt off for a second. How's that look? Oh, that's that's much better. That's much better indeed. Oh yeah, that's that's the look for the banker. That's the look we need. Let's go. So why should you have a banker? Bankers just make ease of access for everything. When you're leveling a character or leveling many different characters at the same time, it's so difficult to just sell everything all the time in the auction house, having to level and quest in an area, then needing to go to the auction house so you can sell it there. It's so frustrating. It's much better to actually just go to the mailbox when you're back at the town, send over all your greens, your bind on, on equips, because those a lot of the time are actually transmog items that sell quite well and have a good sale rate. Sending them over to your banker allows you to just pop them on the auction house, you know, every two days or something like that. And hopefully those sell through and you get a nice bit of gold. And then when you end up needing to buy your like super fast uh, flying speed, it's it's no bother really. It's super easy for you to get because you've been selling all of those like bits of cloth, the leather, the ore, everything like that, the green items, the blue items, the epics maybe, everything like that. And you end up being in a much healthier situation when you're buying your mount. So that rounds up my video on why you should get yourself a banking tune on World of Warcraft. I hope you liked this video. If you have any additional suggestions, feedback, or advice to offer on this subject i'd love to hear it in the comment section below i will see you later guys remember to smash the like button it really really helps the youtube algorithm this is erosium out